Hi everybody, this is Beach Cricket and this is Shuttle Babe. I'm doing a lot of work on her and I'm going to give you a, a little quick little peek of oh, all the work I've been doing, but it's been fun. I've enjoyed it. So hang on. Okay, you can tell it looks like a war zone because I've got things moved from this area over to this area so that I could get things done. I am painting coral and I'm also doing the gray. The windows were already painted that black. They kind of did that. And then there's these inserts that uh, go in them. I'll put one over here so that you can see it. And that's what they are. And I have a teal coloring on them and they just simply go inside and fit neatly into the windows. Eventually what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, scrape off that black and I'm going to put different stained glass. They're not really stained glass, but they are they look like stained glass and they're like these clings that you put for bathrooms and windows and doors. And I'm going to be putting them inside my windows. Um, the bench is coral and it has the trim. Look, I got flowers today. Woo! That hasn't happened in a long time. <laughs> but it's just from a friend. And um, it, was, it was a thoughtful thing. Really nice. Um, the sides are the gray. Just like over here on this side, I've done teal on the top and gray on the sides. And, of course, you've seen the, the file cabinet. We are... Uh, slowly but surely getting the painting done. I bought all these new curtains and they're wonderful. These are blackout curtains so I got coral and um, I got the teal of course. They're blackout and they're insulated so they're really nice to have in your traveling home. And I like them. It's really easy. I have this long pole rod that I have uh, bolted to the um let me show you bolted to a little piece of wood so that i can just have them hung up that way it's so much easier i don't ever have to worry about them falling down it's really nice so these are some of the things that i have completed see i've got a little teal accent on the shower area right here with the orange wall i have a really beautiful piece of two mirrors that I have uh, well I'm still working on the other one I've got one completed and it's going to be the shell motive for the beach the other one is going to be crystals and stones and rocks on it so it's going to be really pretty because the bus is going to be themed with the beach motive look at my kitchen area y'all what is going on here <laughs> Yeah, it's it's getting it together and it's hard to do something like this. It's just being piled over here to the side as um I paint. <laughs> I even put all my spices and things in that bucket. But this is uh, a hot mess right now. <laughs> but it's going to be beautiful soon. I just wanted to kind of give you an idea on the status of how I'm doing things. Um I got coral blankets and I've got beautiful beach motive essentials and blankets and I also have coverings for the pillows the same way so it's going to be lovely it's really going to be pretty I just uh, thought it'd be whoa I thought it would be fun I just spilt ah! I just spilt something I was soaking Oh, goodness. Hey, this is live. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> I was soaking my little paint thing. Okay, we'll get that up in just a sec. But yeah, it's going to be beautiful. Just wanted to kind of give you a, a crazy look at what, what it takes to uh, <laughs> renovate. And a lot of you already know you've done it in your homes and stuff. It's a little harder when it's a small space. You have to go from one side and do it and put it back together, then start on the other side. So we are making progress. I'm starting on this side. I just started to paint this little area over here. Woo, that light. 
which is the kitchen area so where the stove and all that stuff is so anyway that's it for now so <laughs> I had to clean that up like I didn't have enough to do <laughs> but uh, it's just a little tricky sometimes figuring this out um yep I'm doing a lot of painting in here in the shuttle bus and you can see this one is coral and then gray on the walls beautiful gray Roxy are we doing a lot of stuff in the bus how about you Riley what do you think yeah okay well just put up with mama cuz we're shoving things around and trying to get things done okay okay all right let's go for a walk you want to go for a walk Roxy okay let's go jump down can you get him down do you have room there's paint cans come on girls I know you can do it I've seen y'all climb some rocks all over this canyon let's do it well I've been painting 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 for five hours Woo! and I have a lot done so all this is the gray side we're all in between the windows and up top up there is all gray all of this has been done and um, these little trim around the windows take a lot of time to go through all that and then the uh, panels go inside the uh, windows where the black is and um, until I decide to do what I want to do with the uh, windows having the stained glass look Klingon things that you can buy and purchase. That's what I'm probably going to be doing. And it's a windy day. Oh my gosh. Win, win, win. Can you hear it? Oh, I'm tired. Five hours of painting. Ah, oh, too much. Let me see here. I've got my stuff all messed around here. Yeah. I'm resting right now. And my girls are like doing the same. <laughs> here they are. Roxy and Riley are scared of the wind. They do not like it. So they've been clinging to me since I've been taking a break now. And the wind has gone crazy. They've been tucked right beside me is the wind scary girls huh you don't like it do you no okay <laughs> y'all were so cute okay i'm gonna lay down with ya oh you're so cute both of ya Mwah. love ya and the really funny thing about all this <laughs> is you know the colors are teal and coral and gray and I've got it all over me. <laughs> I keep uh, using alcohol and rubbing it off because that's the only way that I can kind of maintain a little bit of uh, <laughs> control over it attacking me because I've got it all over me. Thank goodness the girls have not gotten any pain on them. I was really concerned about that. Boy, my bus is shaking. <laughs> we got wind today. But anyhow, we're making progress, and um, when it all gets put together, you're going to get to see it, and it's going to be really wonderful. It'll be worth all this work. It's fun, too. I like doing projects. So, it's just a little harder when uh, you have a small space, and you've got to figure out how you're going to do it. <laughs> Moving it all around. Anyway, we'll see ya. All right. Let me uh, show you one of my projects. This is a mirror. I bought two of them identical. And the first one I have uh, hot glued shells from where I'm from in Florida and some shells from Lake Havasu. Just all kinds of places. Uh, this little piece of redwood I was by the shore in um, Oregon and it floated 
right to me and I'm like okay I didn't take it out of the redwood forest but it floated to me in the Pacific Ocean so I got a souvenir also I got a crystal Let's see if you can see that and when I was at the schoolie palooza sorry the bus is shaky <laughs> the wind is really strong um, some children gave me this beautiful quartz and I have a little one where are you let me find you oh, okay you're right over here right there that I picked up it's a little sliver so the other one that I'm going to be doing um, because it's exactly like this is I'm going to be making it more of the stones and gems and quartz and things like that this one's the seashell. I don't know why this is not going into focus very well. But anyway, that's what it's going to be. This one there and below is going to be the other one. And it's going to be rocks and stones and gems. So, yeah. Going to bring the natural order of simplicity of nature to encompass it inside Shuttle Babe. So tell me what you think about this. Oh! And I found this little feather. I forgot where that was. Just walking around and found it. And I thought, okay, that's really going to be cute. So I added it to the picture. Well, to the mirror. Yeah. Okay, so this is how the uh, panels go inside the windows. They're um, home insulated uh, foam boards to insulate and you just cover them with whatever fabric you want this is just uh, temporary for me because like I said I want to do um, well I'm gonna do the stained glass look on the windows and scrape them I'm gonna still keep these foam boards because they're really really um, beneficial to the summer see they go to every window uh, to the summer and winter as far as keeping the um, the heat and the coolness in bay you know at bay so I really like them it's a, a really good concept and I didn't have this uh, idea this was uh, partially built out when I bought shuttle babe and this was done and I really liked it so I I stayed with it they just pop out so it's really nice and you can change the colors and all that kind of stuff so yeah now I've got a hint uh, with uh, cleaning these. This is the cover that goes over the light fixture. And um, you can see how dirty and dusty and everything it is and kind of yellowish. Well, what I use to make it really pretty is this alcohol. It makes them look fantastic. And I'll show you. Look at that. Look how clean. And I have LEDs in here that have been put in, so that's going to be great on the efficiency. But yeah, when you want to make those things look decent, just a wet cloth and uh, some, well, alcohol cloth will just clean it right up. I mean, I couldn't believe it. It looks like it's brand new. So just a helpful hint. Pass it on to you guys in case you have to do any of this kind of fun stuff. <laughs> It works really well. Okay, so I hope that uh, kind of gives you some insight to what's going on here. Sorry about all this over here. I still have the broken phone. <laughs> I gotta wait till payday. That's for another week. <laughs> gotta get my windshield fixed and get this. Get a new. Get a new phone. Um, so anyway, it'll work all out. But just you know, sorry about that. <laughs> so. Just remember, Nomad Life Rocks, wake up and live, have your adventures because it's your life, and um, enjoy it. I hope that all of you, on a more serious note, I hope that all of you are safe and sound, and through this whole um, situation with the COVID, that you are being smart about it and taking care of yourself because you guys are just fabulous and sure don't want anything to happen to you. Um... I uh, am staying 
very social distance out in just different places away from everybody. I uh, have bought all these supplies weeks ago before I even moved, went in, went out, and traveled and camped. I just feel like that's the smarter thing to do for me. I am 66, so, you know, I have to watch out for uh, being in that criteria of probably being more susceptible to getting, you know, getting the COVID. So, so far, the person upstairs is really looking out for me and, and blessing me in many ways. Um, on the windshield, I got a wonderful gift from Daniel and um, Daniel B. 1954. You rock. You're such a sweet person. You're such a great friend um, to me. I just can't thank you enough. That's going toward the windshield. Um, I haven't priced it yet, but last time it was around three, so that really helps a lot what you sent, so <laughs> that should be taken care of. Anyway, um, and then picking up the phone. Those are the two things that I'm going to be doing. So I just wanted to shout out to Daniel because that was really very thoughtful and kind. He goes, get your windshield fixed. Don't get a ticket. <laughs> so that was nice. All right, you guys. Love you all. Really appreciate you watching me and my craziness. Anyway, wake up and live. We'll see you guys in the next video. Who knows? She might be put together by the next one. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm working hard at it. All right, see you guys. Bye-bye.